So the bit of luck, we should be recording perfectly fine, and this should be my first career mode video, or any proper video on the channel, so hey guys, welcome back to another video, this is going to be episode 1 of my Sheffield United career mode on FIFA 19, so I've just literally booted up FIFA, gone onto my ultimate team, gone onto the menu, and now I'm doing this, so... There's a new difficulty, Sheffield United, there you go. There's a new difficulty in the game, which is ultimate. So, I'm going to be playing on that and see how it goes. I will probably lose practically all of the matches, but that's not what it's about. It's all about taking part, into it? That one side looks like Chris Wilder. Shirt and tie, that looks about right for how I'd want to manage. Whoa, this is a different screen. So, oh, that's going to be tough, that is. Uh, I'm going to go on five minutes just so then it's a bit quicker for myself. I'll get through these settings and I'll come back to you guys. There we go, that is all done. Well, this feels nice, doesn't it? With a uh, clean sheet to create my new saves. I guess there's only one thing that I can really call it. Blade YT. Because obviously I'm probably going to do a personal blade save. Um, Pre-season tourney, I suppose I will do one of those for £3.340 million. Pounds. The budget on the game for us is £6.12 million. But I'm pretty sure I did a... Um, oh, what's it called? The 60% budget increase. So, the ratings, I haven't actually proper saw them. Leon Clark 82. Um, yeah, the ratings are really what you'd be expecting, aren't they? A couple of new youngsters. Um, there's Hallam, there's Doherty, Parkhouse. They're three new youngsters. I don't think there's any more. But I'm pretty sure this lad here has a really big potential. Guys, I'm going to go and get my squad sorted out and I'll be right back to you. So, it's took me about... <laughs> it feels like it's been about half an hour doing it. But I think it's took me about... Five minutes. I've gone through all of these up here. Look, um, and just the uh, system that we're going to be playing. So it's going to be the the five three two is well the five two one two is what it's called on the game. But I've got my wingers on very, my wing backs on very attacking. Um, I've I've obviously got him for left wing back cover and him for right wing back cover. Um, this is going to be the lineup that I'm going to go with on the first day. The first game day. Um, obviously, Coots may make his way into the lineup. You know, Richard Stearman, one of these two strikers here, even Ben Woodburn. So, I think all I'm going to do now is just skip ahead to the first day of the season because we're not making any signings before the first day of the transfer window unless I see any freeze that I want. So, I guess I will see you guys on the 4th of August, I think it is when it starts. Yeah. So, I'm meeting you on this day to 28th of. Um, July, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to scout a future star, okay? And if you don't know what this is, it gives you a youngster, um, which it normally has a very good potential, okay? I'm hoping for an attacking player. No my luck, I'll get a goalkeeper or a left back or something like that. Um, a bit of transfer news I've got to show you, transfer history, is that I've sold Danny, Lan Danny Lafferty to Atlanta for 610k, simply because we've got Ender Stevens and... John Snook can both play at that left back position, so I don't see the need for Danny Lafferty. I'd rather just sell him, get a bit of money for him, than keep him and not play him. Um, I also wanted to show you this. Just a couple of players that we've got loaned out that may be interested, that may be interesting at some point. So we've got Sam Graham, 17 years old, 57 overall. He must have a good potential. Um, Hennigan's 62 overall. Who else have we got? We've got Ryan Leonard and Lee Evans, who I will not play them at all because their deals are both. Sorry, guys, but from here, my microphone seemed to have wanted to cut out. So, as I was saying, Lee Evans and Ryan Leonard are not going to get played because in real life, their deals were made permanent at the clubs that they've gone to in January. So, I'm not going to end up playing them. As I scroll down, we've got Harvey Gilmore. We've got Regan Slater out on loan to the retrospective clubs. Not sure how much game time they're going to get. Um... Who else is the? There's Ricky Holmes, Nathan Thomas. Nathan Thomas might be a decent player. We've got Carruthers and Chad Evans, who might get some game time, and obviously Kaylin Lavery. There's probably only a couple of them players which I'm actually going to go ahead and play, to be honest. But I've stopped on the 28th because basically I've got that Scarred Future Star, haven't I? And any time now, yeah, we'll get it here, look. So the name of the player is Jan De Witt. I think from what I can read. And he is 17 year old left winger, two star skill, no, two star weak foot, three star skill moves if my brain serves me correctly. And I'm not going to play him straight away, okay? Until he's at a rating which seems realistically not realistic enough, I'm not going to play him yet. You can see me do training here, 
Then my training drills other than Lunny getting taken out for the new youngster. And I'm pretty sure I'd just stick him on the training drill, you know. Um, you know, nothing too complex for the lad. We don't want to, you know, work him too much. Um and yeah, I'm I'm so I'm training that Doherty, the CDM on the left hand side, because apparently his potential is pretty decent from looking online. Um so I won't mind playing him towards the second half of the season to be honest, but I'm pretty sure at this point I just get straight into the Swansea game by simulating ahead to it. Um and the lineup should be coming up in two seconds. So this is the first league match of the season. It's probably a tougher one than what I would have wanted. But obviously, real life fixtures, it's not going to change it. So the lineup is as follows. Okay, so we've got Henderson there, right back. Apparently, it's Basham. I think I do go in and change it around. Yes, I do. So Henderson there, right back, Bulldog. The three centre backs, Egan, Basham, and O'Connell. Then at left back, it's Ender Stevens. Midfield, it's Norwood, Fleck and Duffy. Then up front, I went with McGoldrick and Sharp. So, yeah, I was just showing you DeWitt. It, I don't even know if I get his name right. I think it's DeWitt. So, life is on screen. As you can see, I'm on ultimate difficulty. Very tough. Very tough. Um, and, uh, yeah, this one, the you know, the need to get a graphic back, if you ask me. You know, I was talking about this on the live commentary that I did, which was working at that point, but I reckon they need to get some sort of graphic pack for the EFL, you know. The the show that they do on Quest, I think it is the highlight show, that's got a very nice pack. I wouldn't imagine that it's too expensive, um, because, you know, it's it's not the Premier League. The Premier League is racking so much money these days, so you'd expect the Premier League one to be a lot more expensive than the Championship one, which leaves you asking, why isn't the Championship one in it? They have all the badges and stuff for it, you know. On the kits, you get the uh, Championship logo on it, so I don't understand why they don't make a graphic pack. So, on here, look, you can see the lineup, and my manager is called Mr. Wobes. Um, and... I'd say that was the strongest lineup that I could have gone that I could have gone for, and at the same time I was also trying to add in some realistic aspects. You know, McGoldrick and Sharp have been playing well lately, so I'm going to start them two up front. Um, and then the Swansea lineup is coming up in just two seconds. Um, <laughs> whilst they're shaking all their hands, um, so in that they've got Nordfeld, Kyle Norton, and Carter Vickers, two former Blades players. Um, well, so we've got, they've got Montero, Narsing, Fulton, Carol Kelly, making his debut, Liam Kelly is. Um, and they're playing the 4 3 3 like they did in real life. So, guys, on the voice, I sh on, on the actual video, I should be coming back to you guys soon. So, I'm going to end the recording now. Hopefully, you guys can enjoy the game and the rest of the video. And Liam Kelly's already on corners for the new Swansea side, and, well, seen better. Right, it's already like about half time. This match has gone incredibly quick. There hasn't really been much to talk about, if I'm perfectly honest. It's I say I've had the better chance. I'd say I've had more possession. The match stats will probably go against exactly what I've just said. Yep, yep. Um, the the annoying thing about this formation is it's not got much width, and it's a struggle to be honest. I'm going to bring on Johnson at left wing back for that bit of pace he's got. Um. Ender Stevens has been decent. He's on a yellow card though, and I'm, I won't lie. I've been going in for a few slide tackles. Um, yeah, it, I feel like at some point I will end up changing the formation if it's like this. I know I'm against one of the best sides on paper in the league, but it's just quite tough to break them down. Um, to be honest, though, this ultimate difficulty, I expect it to be much harder to defend. And I mean, I've probably said that, and I'll concede two or three in this second half, but. You know, I've been defending fairly okay, if you ask me. Like, Oh, Woodburn. Has he got to it? He has. Into Leon. Oh, that Van der Horn has been so good in this second half. Right, McGoldrick. McGoldrick, please. Oh, no, I tried that time shooting and I've shot it wide. Oh, like Bristol City away with that shot shooting, my McGoldrick. That were golden chance. I have just wasted this match for us. I really have. Go on, boys. Oh, he's offside. For God's sake. I wanted Leon to make a move in there, but he didn't. And it's the 93rd minute. Two minutes added on time. This kick is going to send us through to the end of the game, I'd assume. Well, 
I mean, I thought I was going to lose it, to be honest. I thought this difficulty was going to be a lot harder. That says a lot when it's your two left backs getting yellow cards as the highlights. Yeah, I think I might have to have another match in this video, you know. I think I might edit it, see how long it is, and have another match because I just don't feel like it's been long enough. It hasn't, has it? Let's be honest. Um, my man of a match for that match was probably Oli Norwood. Don't know if that's a bit of favouritism from him in real life as well, but I thought he was quite good. I thought that he cut out quite a lot, to be honest, when their, midfield, when their strikers were trying to run through. You know, that second line of defence. Um, the next match is Middlesbrough away. I think I'll play that. I think I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. I think I'm going to risk it being a long episode just to try and stop it from being a short one, pretty much. Um, well, I'm looking at top scorers like we're going to have any. Guys, Middlesbrough away. Let's get into it. Apologies, my audio felt like cutting out again. So, we're going to the second match of this episode, which is against Middlesbrough away. So, I do some rotations to the lineup, okay? You can see that I've bought in a couple of players. I've bought in Stearman, I've bought in Washington Clark, and Ben Woodburn, all in the attacking thirds of the pitch. Um, I also bring in Paul Coots for Ollie Norwood, just for fitness reasons. And I feel like... I don't know whether I made too many changes in this match or not. Um, I feel like the replacements I brought in were very viable to be uh, used there. We've obviously made five changes. It's similar to what we did uh, the other day in real life, isn't it? To be honest with Wilder making five changes and the lineup just not looking good enough. I don't know. But the lineup is on screen. It's Henderson, Border, Basham, Stearman, O'Connell, Stevens, Coots, Fleck, Woodburn, Washington, and Clark. Let's see how it can go, guys. The second match of the episode, hopefully we can get our first win of the season, because obviously we drew that match against Swansea. Let's get right into it. Oh my god, Middlesbrough just hit the crossbar. Jesus Christ, that's a warning. Oh my god, they're doing decent from these set pieces. The only headers I've won from a set piece have gone out for another corner, so... You know, I feel a bit threatened right now, what's <laughs> just happened there? Fox. It's going to be tough to break down this Middlesbrough side, isn't it? If I go through the middle, I haven't got too many players. And if I go out wide, they've got the likes of Eden Flint in the box to head it away. So, I'm going to have to be really good in this match. This. Oh my God! Who on earth just scored that? I think that's Ben Woodburn. He's made his first start for the club. And he's just scored an absolute worldie. John Fleck into him. I just thought, why not take the shot? I've got no other options that are going to be better than the shot. And what a shot that is. Oh my, Adam Clayton and Daniel Ayala, I think that is, couldn't both block it. It went through them both. And my manager, for some reason, looks unhappy. Well, I don't know what his emotion, but Ben Woodburn making a better start to the club than he ha has done in real life. Um, and we're 1-0 up against the Middlesbrough side. I thought we were going to be tougher than the Swansea side, but we've still got another two-thirds of the game to go. So we'll have to see. But I'm happy at that, Blaze. Come on. Oh no, the front goal... The front goal and Dean Henderson can't save it. I thought it was offside. I was trying to put my controller down, but I couldn't have done it about that. Paddy McNair has made it 1-1. Is That's an instant reply, into it? That took about two or three game minutes, which, as you guys might know, isn't very long at all. And it's a goal. Right, Coots has sent George Bordock away on this right-hand side. He's going to do a cross. And Leon, Leon's got to it and from basically the edge of a box. Has scored a header. I did the time shooting. I think I got it just about spot on to do that. And Leon Clark has scored a fantastic header. Yep, time to perfection. Wow, that, that time shooting is going to be very overpowered if you do it correct this FIFA. Okay, I was looking not to concede a goal, but it's into the box from George Bordock. Bit of trouble, and they've cleared it away. I think that's going to be half time. It is. We're 2-1 up. I don't know what the stats are going to be like. I feel like I've been worse in this game than I was in the last game, but that's football, isn't it? Match facts. Um, oh, my God. Two shots, two shots on target, two goals. That's called precision, ladies and gentlemen. Um, do I need to make any changes? I don't think I need to make any changes. Connor Washington needs to get into the game a bit more if I've got a bit of criticism to give. Um, but we've been good. I'm happy. 2-1 up. I think this might be our first win of the season. Right, George Bordock. He's been dangerous this game. And Leon... Oh, that could have been another goal. Really could have been. 
Oh, we've got a couple of minutes left and Middlesbrough probably got their last attack of the match. They've threaded it through and O'Connell... O'Connell, you should be dealing with that. The What a save, Dino. What a save. If we end up winning that this match, Dino, I'm thanking you, lad. Oh, no. George Savile. George Savile's through and it's 2-2. Two -two. How has that happened? How has that happened? I saw it coming. I controlled Bash, you can see. I saw it coming. I couldn't do anything about it. I really couldn't there. Who's this? He seems fresh, Lunny. Lunny through to Stevens. Oh, he's too knackered. Oh my god! Oh my god! How close was that then? The match has ended 2-2. Two -two. I don't know what to think of that. I don't know how to think it was positive because I struggled. However, to think that we've let a lead go. I really don't know what to think. Look at this chance here at the end. I don't know if he saw it fully. My God, Leo, Leon so almost scored and Randolph just made it look easy. So, the match starts, you know, when you look at them, it probably should be a draw. But I feel hard done in that match. Player ratings, Ben Woodburn has earned himself a start for the next game, I'd say. Um, probably, probably Coots, to be honest. He's been quite good. Leon played very well. Um, I don't know how long this episode is going to go on for, so I'm probably going to try and end it now. Currently, it's 9 o'clock, so that's quite that's quite a sick time, and I'm going to go and edit it. So, guys, this is the first proper career mode episode I've done. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button. Um... Any top scorers, Leon Clark. So the table is that at the end of the match. So as I said, first upload, proper upload of this channel. I've quite enjoyed making it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching it. I'd say I've done decent. Let me just check that it is on the ultimate difficulty. So I feel like that may have been quite easy. I'm hoping it's not on legendary. I'm really hoping it's not on legendary. Otherwise I would have just mugged myself off. So it was on ultimate. Yeah, I'm quite proud of myself. So... Two points in two matches. Guys, I'll probably end up simulating this QPR match in the next episode and we will kick off from this. So, like, subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your day. And episode two will be out as soon as possible. Make sure not to miss it, guys. See you later.